Waking up in a bathtub full of ice with a kidney missing was the original ice bucket challenge, except no one volunteered to play. Illegal organ harvesting is the act of removing organs from a person without their consent, often for the purpose of selling them on a black market. It is a serious crime that is punishable by law, but it is still a thriving business in many parts of the world. There are many different ways that illegal organ harvesting can take place. In some cases, people are kidnapped and their organs are removed against their will. In other cases, people are lured into selling their organs with promises of financial rewards, but they are then given inadequate care and their lives are put at risk. This story will explore three different examples of illegal organ harvesting. A young man who is kidnapped and forced to sell his kidney. A woman who is trafficked into a country where her organs are harvested without her consent. A prisoner who is executed and his organs are harvested without his family's knowledge. Example 1. The Kidnapped Man David was a young man who lived in a poor country. He had a wife and two young children, but he struggled to make ends meet. One day, David was walking home from work when he was kidnapped by a group of men. They took him to a secret location and told him that they were going to harvest his kidney. David was terrified, but he had no choice but to comply. He was given anaesthesia and then his kidney was removed. David woke up in a lot of pain and he was very weak. He was given some basic antibiotics and then he was dumped on the side of the road. David was able to make his way back home, but he was never the same again. He was constantly in pain and he couldn't work. His wife had to leave her job to take care of him and their children. David's family was plunged into poverty and they struggled to survive. Example two, the trafficked woman. Maria was a young woman from a poor village. She was promised a job in a wealthy country, but when she arrived, she was trafficked into a sex trafficking ring. Maria was forced to work as a prostitute and she was beaten and abused on a daily basis. One day, Maria's traffickers told her that she was going to have her organs harvested. Maria was terrified, but she had no choice but to comply. She was given anaesthesia and then her kidney was removed. Maria woke up in a lot of pain and she was very weak. She was given some basic antibiotics and then she was thrown out on the street. Maria was able to find help from a local NGO, which helped her to get medical treatment and to return to her home country. However, Maria was traumatized by her experience and she will never be the same again. Example three, the executed prisoner. Ali was a political prisoner in a country with a poor human rights record. He was convicted of a crime that he didn't commit and he was sentenced to death. On the day of his execution, Ali was told that he was going to have his organs harvested. Ali was shocked and horrified, but he had no choice but to comply. He was given anesthesia and then his kidney was removed. Ali died after his execution and his organs were sold on the black market. Ali's family was never informed of his execution or the fact that his organs had been harvested. They were told that Ali had died of a natural cause. These are just three examples of illegal organ harvesting. This crime is happening all over the world and it is affecting people from all walks of life. We need to do more to raise awareness of illegal organ harvesting and to bring the perpetrators to justice. We also need to support the victims of this crime and help them to rebuild their lives. Illegal organ harvesting is a serious problem that is affecting people all over the world. Let me know in the comments what you think of this video. If you enjoyed it, please consider giving it a like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.